I think if you look at the traits of, of spirituality and the traits of connectedness with nature, you find that there's quite a lot of similarities. For a start, both are things which are very difficult to define and they tend to be very personal definitions or personal interpretations. But if you look at what we just were discussing, you know, with connectedness with nature and how it comprises these three classical ABCs of psychology, the effect, which is the emotional side, uh, the behaviour and then the cognition, we see that spirituality can also be cast in those same psychological terms. We can see spirituality as being a more cognitive idea of our place in our world, our philosophy and our beliefs. We can refer to spiritual practice, which is the behaviour or the things that we do to align with our, um, our spiritual belief system. And then we have the idea of spiritual experience, which is more than just an intellectual sort of thing. It, uh, um, it tends to comprise a much more powerful emotional or effective component. And I think for many people, connectedness with nature can also have this spiritual dimension. And when psychologists often refer to a spiritual or religious experience and those sorts of things, they talk about it being a transpersonal uh, phenomena. And as soon as we speak about transpersonal, we speak about something which is, which is outside of ourselves. And again, when we look at connectedness with nature, it's all about connecting with this other, whatever that other might be. It might be a tree, an animal, or something a bit more indefinable, some sort of force or presence in nature or in the universe. And this is very important, this idea of connecting with the other, because when we, when we have that, when we feel that, it becomes a, a shared experience. It's not just sort of confined to our own consciousness. It feels like that, that there is this participation or reciprocity or interweaving with another kind of intelligence or a consciousness. And, you know, whether that is actually the reality is open to debate. But the important thing is that is what the experience feels like. And in a society where one of our biggest fears is the fear of being alone, that experience of being able to connect with something outside of ourselves and have a meaningful connection which feels like it's reciprocated, that's a very, very powerful thing. And I think very important for our you know, psychological well-being.